welcome to our periodic table videos. This is an experiment for me just as much as it will be for you when you're watching and I just wanted to begin by showing you a bit my office and explaining what the periodic table means to chemists like me. You can imagine the periodic table a bit like a family photograph and just if you look at the photograph taken at a big wedding or something like that there'll be some people you know very well and others where you haven't quite remembered what their name is but you remember one or two facts about them. So if we begin over here we've got a um, periodic table here it's in French slightly faded from the sunlight but which has photographs of all the elements and we'll be showing you some of them now. And over here we've got a small Russian one you can see here. Why is that one of any relevance to you? Well because my father came from Russia and I like speaking Russian and it has all sorts of complicated data on the back. This one here the area of the various elements like hydrogen here and arsenic there represents their relative abundance on the earth's surface. Then over here I've just been given today a Chinese one where you can see that the elements they use the same syllables in China as they do in the, U in the UK but we have different um, obviously different text and then over here are two more which are really mad but I like having them here because it confuses my students sometimes when they need a bit of cheering up there's this one which is the periodic table of the vegetables and then over here is the periodic table of the desserts which has various puddings and so on it which I don't really understand the symbolism of it at all but it looks quite fun. Well, we use it really quite a lot and I think that it's useful because it reminds us about things and looking at the periodic table over and over again you discover new things and it reminds you of relationships which you might have forgotten. So and after here the last thing around the room is this clock here which has the first 24 elements so we have the first 12 elements from hydrogen to magnesium around the outside and for those who like the 24 hour clock from element 13 aluminium round to chromium which is number 24 and it's really quite difficult to take the, tell the time but it's fun to have my office. So let's now get down and look at the periodic table itself.